Stemming all the way back from being a Tierra Latrice mind. Girl, none of them have ever worked out well because Mika is not a good friend. She's a slime ball. Period. Point blank. And, you know, Mika, I know it sounds harsh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. You are. Because you sat up there, you're supposed to be like real bad, good, good, ace spoon coon. You're always bosom buddies. You lied to Tierra Latrice and said that you had a disabled kid you were taking care of. And all your kids is grown. And far as we know, ain't none of them flame retarded. Like, for payola and sympathy. Like, girl, what? Girl. But let me finish listening, John. I saw. So then I went back and I looked at one of the 13 minute ones because I'd be damned if I go through any 10 hour lives of hers. I usually get the um, the minute marks and then I'll go look at that. What you mean the minute marks? Who's giving you the minute marks? Minutes and vibes? Because ain't nobody researching for you, Mika. Barely, let's be honest. People barely watch you. So basically, you got a whole group of people that's watching hear her for, for what? Who's sending you minute marks? Because you don't have like a fan base like that. I just, you know, I'm just being objective. Okay. Somebody please refresh my memory. Because right now it's like an afterthought. Nosy Ho and her, y'all. Hey, Lima, Lima. Child, the job called me today. They're trying to send me to a patient house next week, child, after orientation on Tuesday. But now, keep your fingers crossed, because goddammit, it took me months to get this orientation. Because <laughs> they tech team was sending uh the stuff to uh, somebody else. Well, to an email that I couldn't, I ain't had access to. And I'm like, oh my God, it's the wrong email. So, child. Listen, y'all might not see me. Y'all better enjoy it. Y'all better enjoy it because I thought that I was going to be able to get some reasonable, you know, nine to five hours. You no, know, they talk about 7P to 7A and 7A to 7P. So y'all may not be able to see me for a minute. So y'all better soak me up and pay me while you can. Can we have a congratulations party? This should be a congratulations back to work party. Yeah, after I get finished cussing these people out, we're going to um, come back live and have a congratulations party. So now you and Valencia, oh yeah, now you in the chat. Yeah, I said it. I said it. And bitch, you already knew that here her live was getting reported. Because this is how much this bitch lied. Talking about I didn't call Trees a mammy. You did call me a mammy. And you knew that that fucking video was going to be struck. Because y'all fucking struck it. So that they wouldn't have access to the fucking chat. You did say it. You did. Don't act like the fuck I'm making some shit up. Because that's not what I do out here. If I want to cut you the fuck out, I could have been cut you the fuck out about that GoFundMe money. But I said, you know what? Let me let that shit go. But now you acting like the treetops that was over there that saw it is lying. That's what I got a fucking problem with. Because... I was debriefed. I didn't watch this uh, this slow talking ass video. I did not. This is my first time listening at it. I did not know that she was denying it until they was like, yo, uh, Menace and Vibes and Mika up there talking shit. I said, okay. First of all, Menace and Vibes look like um, goddamn um, the man from Heat of the Night, Tibbs. Look like Detective Tibbs. So it's not too much I'm going to be saying about her. Okay. Ain't too much I'm going to be saying about Detective Tibbs. Uh, secondly, Mika is over there half dead like the Crypt Keeper. Don't get it fucked up. Every goddamn diagnosis you can have in America, she got it. Or been, or been diagnosed with it. Now, initially, I was sympathetic towards me because I'm like, oh, damn, that's really fucked up. She in a lot of pain. Bitch, how much pain are you really in for real, for real? Because you stay uh, higher than a giraffe's coochie 24 hours a fucking day. So then, who is she talking to, first of all? Because she said getting back to hear her. So who the fuck is she talking to? She said, you're so boring, bitch. I went off into a whole other conversation. Bitch, what was you talking about to begin with, bitch? Because I thought you were talking about hearing her, and now you're talking about getting back to hear her. Do you even know what the fuck you talking about, ho? Do you even know who the fuck you're talking about? Because it sounds good, and to a lot of motherfucking dumb, dim-witted airheads, you would sound intelligent, but you sound like a fucking dizzy, bobble-headed bitch right now in this moment. Now, uh, I know that whatever happened between you and hear her, that's between you and hear her. I'm not even trying to get in the middle of that. But you did call me a fucking mammy in that fucking chat. Half of the treetop neighborhood watch ain't lying on you, Mika. They not lying. Just see, this is the shit that gets me mad with bitches like her. Because they want to act rowdy rowdy and bout it bout it. But then when it comes time to put up a fucking shut up, you know that that video, bitch, ain't the fuck up. You know that. You think that I'm going to believe a bitch who stole $25 for a heart decorating contest over my faithful treetop neighborhood watch committee? You must be out of your motherfucking mind. You a known liar. I thought she stole from Nosy. I thought so. I thought so. I didn't want to put that on her and I didn't want to mislead y'all. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I thought she stole from Nosy because I know Saki did. I know Saki did for sure, but I couldn't remember. I thought so. I thought so. Why the fuck do you think I just posted the fucking receipt when she talking about I told her what to do. They need ID and this and that. Bitch, the last message I got from your lying, thieving ass was I'm going to call them. Even when we was on VS's panel, she said we can get together and we can call because I made it known that this bitch still. She got the, she said I could change the password but had the motherfucking account directed to her fucking uh, 
phone and they sent her the fucking password. She knows she never gave them my fucking number to begin with. She never gave the people my number for me to change it, but had me go through all of these fucking hoops and loops thinking that I was going to change it. I followed the instructions. They sent the password to her fucking phone. Same shit Menace and Vibes did when my when they so-called bought me a computer. She had the warranty set up under her email. I kept on calling the motherfucking people so I can get my computer fixed. Menace and Vibes was receiving an email the whole fucking time. Then going to get on the phone with Low Key and say, I gave Trees everything she needed to get the computers fixed. She's not being proactive. No, bitch, you knew you was intercepting the fucking messages from the warranty people. This is what these bitches do. They attach themselves on the content creators. They send them cash apps and treats and shit. Get in their good graces just to snake them. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. Fucking Menace and Vibes was up here talking about her friend Loki to other motherfuckers. She was snaking Loki every every chance she got to get into my chats and shit. This bitch is almost 60 years old. Showing everybody fucking screenshots when me and Danny went at it the first fucking time. Who you think I got the fucking screenshots from? I got it from her and goddamn Diane. And Danny licking their asses right now after she got snaked. Low key, she said, because they was calling her talking about, yeah, Tree's going live because she need um something. That's when I was trying to get my car back on the road. That's what that's what's fueled to go fund me. Because everybody loved the fact that, um, you know, back in the day, a part of my show was, you know, me going to the store in my car and, you know, cussing people out along the way outside. That's why my tree tops already know it's not this shit that I do online. This ain't no fucking fake shit. I do this shit in real life, even though I'm trying to work on it because, like, people will take you the fuck out. But I'm just saying, like, this ain't no online gangster shit. I ain't no ghost gangster. I talk my shit in real fucking life, bitch. Either you gonna get your ass whipped or I'm gonna get my ass whipped and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with those eyes. So, for these motherfuckers to act like, to act like, oh, the GoFundMe money, this and that, I show her what to do. You a fucking lie, Mika. If you just took the money, just say that. Because of the damn, uh, the damn what you call them that I have. Oh, you was around back then, CC. Damn, I forgot you was around back then. Yeah. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, that, I almost got arrested up there. I almost got arrested at Dunkin' Donuts. What's going? Yeah, it's going, Vip Chick. She stole the fucking money, over $200. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see, she talking about, I sent her the video of what to do. That, bitch, you said you was going to call me the next morning when we was on VS panel. And we was going to, you was like, boo, don't worry about it. We're going to call the people together. Because you said I put, you put my information down there. But you gave them your information, bitch. She said that you was there, the chick. She stole that fucking money. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. She said we're going to call. Day after day after day went by. I'm trying to be considerate because of her motherfucking. Yes, because of GoFundMe. Because I reported it, honestly. I reported it. She stole $25 from goddamn another content creator. What makes you think she went still steal $200? The bitch, that fucking decorating contest, they were supposed to plan. Let me tell you the sequence of fucking events today. This is how fucking real diabolical this bitch is. They were supposed to have this contest for Valentine's Day direct, de direct uh, decorating the fucking heart. She went out, got the materials, decorated the fucking heart prior to the fucking contest when she knew what the rules was. You're supposed to decorate it on camera and everybody had seven minutes. The heart that you began with, you're supposed to show it to the fucking camera. And then you, after you decorate it while you're on live, you're supposed to show what you came up with. The bitch had like a cardboard cutout. They, they described it as like maybe one of those Valentine's heart boxes that came with chocolate in it. When she got done, it was a whole nother fucking thing. It didn't even look like any re resemblance of, well, the, the thing, the finished product, of course, did not resemble what she started with at all. At all. It was like, say like if you had cardboard, okay? Uh, maybe it was a doily at the end. Like you could clearly tell that that's not what she started with at all. So she wound up winning the $25. But the people that watched the video was like, yo. And then she had the lights off, bitch. She said, I hope y'all can see the lights are off. She had the lights off, bitch, so that she wouldn't be able to tell. She had the lights turned off. And it was like, we can't see, Mika. We can't see. Because she already knew what the fuck she was planning to do. This is the type of bitch we dealing with. This is the type of bitch we dealing with. I do not condone domestic violence at all. But doing shit like that, you would make somebody want to whoop your ass. Because I know if me and Baby Trees would have joined that contest, bitch, and I would have found that out, I would have took a fucking plane trip to South Carolina, wherever the fuck your ass being evicted from. I sure would have. I show fucking with him because that shit ain't right. That's called stealing because you're gaining a prize of $25 under fucking false pretenses by cheating. You don't believe in yourself that much where you thought you, you couldn't decorate a heart that was worthy of a fucking prize in seven minutes. You couldn't just abide by the fucking rules. You really had to scam $25 fucking dollars from a contest. You ain't no better than that fucking tailor, bitch. Because, bitch, I get money. If, if anybody would like to donate to the cause because I was robbed by a moderator who started my GoFundMe, if anybody would like to hit my cash app, please, and support. Because, bitch, I wasn't even pressing you about it. I just really wanted the money at least to be able to get it, give it back to the people who donated. I already had contact to go fund me. And I said, please refund the people their money. People who know me, no, I will, I will give you a fucking refund. All of y'all motherfucking thieves celebrating y'all birthday weekend. There's another thief that I know celebrating their birthday. When is it? Today or yesterday? Another thief that I know. And he steal his ass off. 
all of you thieves have the same motherfucking uh, birthday month, April, and compulsive fucking liars. That's crazy. Mika birthday is the 15th. Sweet Pea birthday is today. And Mikey birthday is the 14th. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Thieving season. Girl, that shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool at all. Because if it's nothing else, I wanted to give back to the supporters who wanted me to get, get my car off the fucking road. Just, you know, give it back to them because I don't have a car. The car was already, um, what you call them, towed. That shows that I didn't squander my subscribers go fund me money, bitch. Talk about crackhead ass shit. Yeah, see, that's the thing that gets me. My whole thing was, is that whatever her and here her got going on, that's between them. I don't give a fuck about that. That's their beef. But when she said you, uh, uh, trees your mammy. Trees your mammy. What, bitch? That's when I took offense. Not even the fact that you stole over $200 in GoFundMe money. I think the last time I checked it, how much was in that GoFundMe? Two or $300. I don't remember. Because I was literally, I mean, pardon me for wanting to use it for what the fuck it was intended for. Pardon me. You know, silly me. Just keeping it in there so it could be utilized for what you told the people it was going to be utilized for. Oh, silly me. Then I got robbed by the bitch who was supposed to be my moderator trying to help me. But the whole thing is, you're now lying saying you didn't call me a mammy when you fucking did. You ain't had to call me no fucking mammy. You could have just said, you know what, Trees? I was angry in that moment, and I shouldn't have said it. We wouldn't be here right now. You know what? I can end this whole motherfucking life. I ain't get no cash yet, bitch. I'm up here entertaining y'all. They feel bad, though. Because Mika came around, and nobody was fucking with her. Nobody was fucking with her. Maybe Danny. But didn't, didn't nobody trust Danny like that back then? They still were side eyeing Danny. Because who the fuck is she coming in and why is she doxing people? That's, that was the temperature of the people back then, for the most part. That's why she was so appreciative of people like me and other content creators who shared her content. Because people really wasn't fucking with Danny when she came on the scene. Your kindness for weakness. And I'm not, listen, I ain't nobody's victim in the least bit. But when I support people, bitch, I support them. I want to see them do well. I'm not secretly scalpy and be hating on them. You know what I mean? Be secretly jealous of motherfuckers. That's not me. I sincerely want to see you do well. So it really, it hurts my heart. Because, yeah, I got a tough exterior and all of that. But when I sincerely want good for somebody and they want to see bad for me, that shit hurts. That shit hurt, though. It really do. It hurt. Because you like, well, damn, I thought we was cool. You know what I mean? And it don't even have to be this way. We can all eat without slighting each other. Like, if Mika needed $200, maybe I would have had a fundraiser for her. When she was sick, bitch. I raised money for her. They said she was in a hospital. I said, I usually don't do this, but let's, I put up her fucking cash app, yo. You don't got to take shit from me. Or my subscribers. I gave it to you. I would have gave it to you. I have given it to you before. And you thank me. That's fucked up. Uh, hey, Bossy. Well, thank you for being here. Hey, Bessie, I love you. Yeah. Um, Thanks, sis. No, go. Okay. Oh, God, I was just going to come up here and sit for a minute. All right, baby. Bitch, um, you ain't got no other choice with your fat headed, hog headed ass. Of course, you want to sit. Your damn sure ain't going to run no goddamn where with your short, fat legs. You built like the motherfucker uh, uh, Carl Winslow when the fuck he was the mailman. Wasn't he the mailman at one time? You dressed just like the fuck Carl Winslow. You fat, hoagie, roll-headed bitch. <laughs> I'm losing patience. Do she say anything else? Because this shit is boring and it's really pissing me off. Do she say anything else? If not, I'd rather go to hear her as motherfucking video. Like, bitch, bye.
This shit is really pissing me off listening to her, knowing the fuck she stole from me. Yeah, VS cussed her out. Because she was so fucking eager to get up under VS. VS had to cuss her the fuck out. Because, like, she had, VS had reached out to her, bitch. And Danny, if you want to be mad with some motherfucking body, bitch, she was in the DMs with VS too, ho. You can't control who the fuck people communicate with. Who the fuck is you? Your fucking ugly face, motherfucking bottom of my slipper looking ass, bitch. I'm sick of all of you hoes. All of you bitches can get it. And what? And what, ho? All of you motherfucking bitches can get it. Sick of y'all lying, thieving, scamming assholes. I'm, I, like I said, back in the day, I'm the realest bitch on YouTube. The fuck? Sick of them. Sick of y'all asses. Because at least with most of us, what you see is what the fuck you get. With y'all motherfucking scamming, skeezing, lying, low self-esteem asses, bitch, I'm sick of them. Let me see. Okay. All right, cuz. Girl. Let me get that. Um. Damn. They motherfuckers just took some goddamn money from me. Damn it. I should have just sent it over to my other thing. Damn. That's all right. They took $23 from me. All right, I'll make that back, God willing, Lord. Oh, my God. I don't understand how the fuck they be knowing. Because I, what I did was I was going to I was cashing out because I'm about to, I was about to go to the store. So I was going to cash out so I could put it on my, my debit card. Because my cash out card is locked. But I forgot some of my subscriptions. Um, My debit card is linked up with PayPal. So if I don't have it in my, what you call them, they'll automatically take it out. The, damn it. All right, so hat, cause stuff. you said you had your tenfold hat for a moment. What you mean? <laughs> I want to laugh too. <laughs> I want to laugh too, Shani. Listen, I'm a I'm a straightforward person. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, you already know who that is, Shani. That's bloody booty. Remember, he was receiving all of the hat, um, all of the slack from the Demon Daughter interview, and everybody wanted to know what the grown, what that grown ass man had to do with beefing with me, and he didn't have a valid gripe against me, so he had to still be able to attack me. And not receive the backlash for attacking me because he ain't had no beef with me. So, in order to do that, I know what I'll do. I'll start a troll page. And I'll just troll her and then nobody won't know who it is. That's all. It's like nothing to figure out. It's cut and dry. Like, the nigga is not smart at all. The nigga has been drinking since he before. Oh, you must get my anxiety. It's, it's fucking with my anxiety. Um, Let me see. All right. If y'all want to contribute to my scrub fund, I need some more scrub. Um, cause y'all know I'm going to a go see for a patient. Well, I got to go to orientation first or Tuesday. I got to find my birth certificate first. They want my birth certificate. I got to find that birth certificate first. And, um, I already got a list of patients. They want me to go see to see if I, uh, you know, if me and the family agree, you know, to have my services. So. <laughs>